I felt like I had so much to prove to myself because I was coming from such a humongous group and a humongous movement of pop music. But for Britney Spears, she had actress Michelle Williams narrate her book. When I tell you I hollered when I heard Michelle Williams making fun of Justin Timberlake's black set. Walking our way was a guy with a huge blinged out medallion. He was flanked by two giant security guards. Jay got all excited and said so loud, Oh yeah, fo shiz, fo shiz, genuine, what's up, homie? Britney Spears criticized Justin Timberlake in her most recent book for acting like a culture vulture and playing black. Justin Timberlake has now responded to her comments. Still, his reply offered little to support his assertions. The Woman in Me, Britney's eagerly awaited memoir, is now available and it's jam-packed with disturbing details about Justin, who played the victim for years, using Britney's issues to boost his own career. Justin would also pretend to be black when he was with other people, Britney stated after she pressured her to get an abortion when she exposed him for adultery. If Justin hasn't already proven to us that he's willing to put black musicians under the bus in order to serve his personal interests, then maybe we should just write this up to him being naive and naive. As everyone knows, Janet Jackson's stigma sprang from Justin's near-collateral theft of everything from her brother Michael after the Super Bowl event. Not to mention that Farrell has acknowledged that Michael Jackson rejected nearly every song on Justin's debut album. Now that Britney has returned to remind us of all of this and more, Justin seems even more regretful of his attitude. Now let's examine it. He had no idea that Justin Timberlake actually did say, what goes around, comes around. During Britney's years-long conservatorship, Justin profited off her quiet and used her reputation to further his own career. However, Britney is providing her perspective, and that period of time is already in the past. In her brand new biography, Britney divulges some shocking details about her relationship with Justin, including the fact that he is a culture vulture. The most well-known instance of this, of course, was in 2004 during the Super Bowl halftime show, when Justin sang alongside Janet Jackson and tore her dress. Whether or not this interaction was contrived doesn't matter, because Justin's actions later on showed who he really was. Because they thought Janet had hurt the public, the media mistreated her. Meanwhile, Justin put on a victim role and claimed that the entire situation had embarrassed him. Janet was compelled to apologize in public during this time, and was not given an invitation to the Grammy Awards. The week following the Super Bowl, Janet was supposed to pay homage to Luther Vandross at the Grammy Awards. Les Moonves, the former chief executive officer of Viacom, declined Janet's invitation and prohibited the airing of any of her songs or music videos on CBSM TV or any radio station affiliated with Infinity Broadcasting Group. By the way, this is the same Les Moonves who was eventually forced to resign as CBS chairman after being exposed by several women for SA. Conversely, Les was pleased with Justin's Grammy performance following the Super Bowl incident. In addition, Justin's song Cry Me a River, which he penned after splitting from Britney, won him the Grammy for Best Male Pop Vocal Performance. However, it didn't end there. After the Super Bowl episode, Janet lost a lot of possibilities, and Justin did little to help her. In a biopic, Janet was slated to play singer and civil rights leader Lena Horne. Still, the Super Bowl situation forced her to step down. Disney removed a figure of Mickey Mouse from Disney World in Orlando, dressed in Janet's famous Rhythm Nation costume, because the company was so eager to defame the singer. However, the episode had no effect at all on Justin's career, and the mainstream media gave Justin very little credit for it while praising Janet. Nevertheless, Janet never behaved dishonestly and refrained from publicly condemning Justin, but when she confessed on The Oprah Winfrey Show in 2006 that she truly considered Justin to be her buddy, you could see how upset she was. Justin could have, at the very least, requested Janet to co-speak with him on a platform or extended her support. But he remained silent for years before expressing regret in 2021 in response to backlash on social media brought on by the documentary Framing Britney Spears. Things get worse when you consider how much Justin copied Michael Jackson and how Pharaoh claimed to have written the songs for Michael Jackson on Justin's first album, Justified. Although many pop and R&B singers have been influenced by Michael, Justin's public adulation of Michael while disparaging his sister was an obvious indication of his true interest. Justin disregarded other black musicians while also asserting that he was inspired by Michael and Janet. Despite being aware of Prince's feelings toward holograms, 
Justin declared in 2018 that he will perform at the Super Bowl using one of the artist's holograms. In a recent interview, Prince was questioned about whether he would ever think about doing anything similar and about the technology that allows performers to perform on stages alongside departed artists. And yet, Justin attempted to unveil a Prince hologram two years after the musician passed away. To much disapproval from fans, Justin finally announced that he will not be deploying the hologram. Nevertheless, he performed and sung his song in front of a larger television projection of Prince. It's also critical to remember that Prince and Justin had a small falling out years prior, and that Prince didn't even like Justin. After Justin's song, Sexy Back was out, Prince made fun of him at an Emmy's afterparty. He exclaimed at the gathering, for whoever is claiming that they are bringing Sexy back, Sexy never left. A few months later, Prince received the Golden Globe for Best Original Song from Justin. However, Prince would not go, so Justin took the chance to make fun of Prince's height. Back then, a number of musicians who identify as African Americans voiced their disgust, pointing out that Justin only appropriates African American culture when it fits him. I think Chris Rock's answer was the most clear. In her autobiography, Britney describes a humorous incident in which Justin attempted to pass for black in front of the singer Genuine. Actress Michelle Williams narrates Britney's book, and her portrayal of Justin's phony accent had fans laughing uncontrollably. Justin chose to confront these accusations as this section of Britney's memoir sparked fresh criticism. He had Britney's PR gently scold her for bringing up the past because he couldn't do it alone. According to E.T. His Insider, Justin has allegedly been concentrating on his own family instead of caring about Britney's biography. Justin has attempted to assist Britney practically in recent years. Even though it has been a while after their split, he still thinks highly of her. Instead of focusing on the past, Justin and Jessica simply want everyone to change in advance. Because Justin was the one who continuously brought up their relationship to get attention when Britney was silent because of her conservatorship, and now that he's suddenly unconcerned with the past, the fans are not amused by his unstable reply. A fan uttered the words, Really? If he was okay with her losing her virginity in a Saturday Night Live sketch program over a decade later, why shouldn't she bring up the past because she was mistreated, suppressed, and spoke her truth? Because of what? She proceeded to treat him with more respect than he had ever showed her, which contradicts the story he had been telling about her for years. I detest him. A different supporter added, I'm so happy that more women are realizing how nasty and terrible Justin Timberlake has always been. He was disliked by Prince for a reason as well. He chooses to capitalize on the underground music culture over the legend. But what do you make of Justin's accusation that Britney was being historical? Do you too believe Justin is deserving of the moniker culture vulture? Let us know in the comments.